We've had our first dispute. Um, Virginia says my toxic trait is holding my phone down here because she wants to hold it up here. But then her toxic trait is not using her phone to film, so um, we've reached a stalemate where we're just carrying on. I've gone for the local one because I feel like it's have better germs in it. Good, good, back, friendly bacteria. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. Mum, you're not going to believe what just happened. I ate a whole banana on my own. I hope you're proud of me. I'm growing up now. Doing a walking tour. Do you think it's gonna rain? Motorbike is allowed to make the right turn. So motorbike never stop. You have to be careful when the walk from here there. After our walking tour, we had dinner. Yes. What did we have? Oh, banana fritters is the main mm. thing. Banana fritters with chocolate sauce. <laughs> um, yeah, everything's cheap here, but not massively cheap. But accommodation is accommodation so is good. And we're yeah. drinking water from the taps because we're brave, yeah. and we bought a water filter. Um, so now we're not allowed to buy water. We can only buy. We can only Peaches have tea tea and yeah. alcohol. We can only have non-water yeah. beverages, and then purify our tap water. Yeah. I'm so I'd messed up. I could not sleep here. I'm now on England time. It is quarter past no, twenty past twelve here, which is six twenty-three in England time. So. I'd be up for work perfectly. There was a beeping all night, and this bed is the most solid thing I've ever slept on. Like, I could sleep on the floor more comfortably, so I had to sleep on my back. But when I slept on my back, there was a beeping. A beeping noise all night. I finally gave in at half seven, here time, and put my AirPods on and listened to some School of Life philosophy videos. Always does a trick. Changed to some weird podcast. Um, yeah, then I actually had some terrifying dreams that I've only just remembered about, like sleep paralysis dreams. So I'm gonna go tell Virginia about them, see what she thinks. But yeah. We're rocking the stocks and socks. <laughs> yeah, um, socks and sandals. Look, because it's rainy today and neither of us really bought good footwear, but we are doing our own little walking tour. I woke up really late. Virginia's been very patient. Very patient um, we got chatting with a guy in the hostel who's been out here for nine months, which is really cool. So we're going to get some tips from him. We're now going to get some banh mi, some veggie banh mi, and go on our own little walking tour and hopefully be able to fly my drone, but we'll see. chew my coffee but I guess I'm getting used to it. Joanna Woodlow and you and Finn shouldn't be using your full names. You'd absolutely love this. It tastes a bit like soap. Creamy, sweet soap. Barbecue vegan vermicelli. And then this one is mushroom. Oh, 
our next stop is going to be the Botanical Gardens and Zoo. But we're not going to do that now. Why not? Why not? Because apparently it's terrible for the animals and they all have one star reviews. Yeah. We're not going to go to the garden. And we're vegan queens now, even though we just yeah. have milk. We did, yeah, we did just drink milk. But we, we are having milk. vegan bun meat. Yeah. yeah, so like... Have some down. Yeah, let's not go to the zoo and watch animals being tortured after not having pate in our sandwich. Like, yeah. we're not going to have one, let's not do the other. Yeah. I've probably not had a light tea for about 10 years. So I've actually kind of forgotten how they taste. He's <laughs> giving crap. <laughs> Properly use the gyms, like everyone is here working out, all different like kids, whole families. The outside gyms are so lovely. And I always see people saying, Why don't we have these in England? We do, people are just too embarrassed to use them. It's really sad. I've just seen a bat, several bats, loads of bats. Oh, okay. Our time in this city has just been spent waiting to cross roads. Yeah, and trying not to die. There are no rules here. Like, there's literally no rules. And I don't even know my left and right at the best of times. Terrifying. Absolutely shocked. shocked. I'm so shocked that was behind our hostel the whole time. Yeah. Like it's, how we couldn't hear it because it was wild. It was so, so loud and actually crazy. It was silly. And, like, and we're going to be up at 8, 7, 7 a.m. to go do the tunnel. So a bit of a drastic switch in yeah, half place, now. But yeah, hopefully I'll sleep tonight now. Although maybe not. On our way to the tunnels, our first stop was to the handicapped art factory where local people would use duck eggs and shells to make local art. They'd sell this in the gift shop, however, we didn't buy any. You can kind of see in this clip how detailed and fine it is, and this is the finished product. 
Okay, this is when we got to the tunnels and like, here's a model to show you what they look like. So there's different layers. They lived on the top layer that's three meters down. And then there was like shorter ones, six meters, eight meters down. You can see a little kitchen. Here's me getting into an entrance. Um, I ha you have to keep your arms above your head, otherwise you can't get out. One person got stuck. But this was because people were really small then, because they were malnourished and also just because they were Vietnamese. So American soldiers could not get in. Um, it had to be really camouflaged as well. Here is the first of many booby traps. Here's what they were eating that made them skinny. Tapioca with peanut and things on it. Here is a load of booby traps. They're brutal. They've got like spikes of bamboo and like bits of iron that they made out of bombs the US soldiers had detonated and they would be soaked in poison. So they're originally meant for animals. I don't know why they needed so many variations, um, but yeah, loads of people died this way. Even if you got to hospital, this one on your leg, even if you got to hospital, you'd still die. Um, here's where we went through the tunnels. You can see they're really small. I think they were made bigger, but um, we didn't go through the small. What scares you more? Rats? Rats or bullets? Rats. What about dead rats or bullets? Dead rats. Okay. <laughs> I can deal with it. I could not deal with it. I was having a complete sensory overload. So in the background there's like loads of gunfire and it was like that the whole time around. We were going around the coffee shop, you know, souvenir shop and it was like And it was fifty thousand to shoot a round of bullets and a magnet from the souvenir shop is seventy five. Which I don't know. That seems wrong to me. We're now changing our plans. I think I think we're gonna go to Nah, Chang and Dalat, and then we're gonna go to Cambodia afterwards. Probably still on the night bus, even though we both get travel sickness. <laughs> Some pills. Yeah, I also have the pills that knock us out, so we could just, it's a sleeper bus, so we could just, mm. um, or you know, edit videos, because we're YouTubers as <laughs> well. <laughs> Maybe boat tour when we come back after going to Dalat and Nha Trang. Mm -hmm. well, hopefully it's been more peaceful because it's, it's really chaotic here, but it's really nice at night time. Yeah, I really like it here. Yeah, so we're converted to mm. melons. Yeah, um, or Saigoners. Yeah.